The government is now shifting uh, focus on empowering uh, the girl child digitally to enable them access science and technology based knowledge. Now, the presidential advisor for gender, Harriet Chigai, said the government is providing the infrastructure for the same, but also challenged parents and teachers to encourage the girl child to gravitate towards these subjects. She spoke during an event to mark the International Day of the Girl Child. <laughs> Hundreds of secondary school going girls congregated in Kibra to mark this day set aside for the girl child. Their attention drawn to their future and how they can leverage on technology to break down barriers. So if it comes to policy regulations, the government has already put enough laws, policy and regulations in place to protect the rights of women and children. The question then is implementation. The girls were encouraged to embrace technology and STEM-based subjects to help them break the gap in employment opportunities availed to them. So as government, the government is saying we must encourage our young children to do STEM. Yeah, We are also saying that we must encourage the young girls and the children not only be in these digital spaces for vices, but what is the content that we are putting in. They were also urged to be wary of the dangers at lack in the information highway spaces. So far, the government says it is laying the groundwork and the framework to enable girls access the same opportunities as boys, but also challenge parents and the girls themselves to do their part. We want to encourage them. We want to empower them. We want to show them that they have dignity and that they can rise up and be people that can have an impact in the society. This year's theme for the International Day of the Girl Child was centered on the digital generation and the benefits and negative impacts it has, not just on the girl child, but the boys as well. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV.